What's going on guys? It's me, Vicstar123 with Team Peace Gameplay. Now, I've super fast molded it because it is a very long game. It was a constant struggle. And what more is there to say? Team Peace. So, if you didn't already catch on, we're not allowed to get any kills on these guys. Not one. We've just got to cap them flags, play the sneaky ninja style, which is exactly what I do. There's some absolutely epic plays in this game and... If you didn't already catch on, yes we do, we actually win this game without getting any kills whatsoever. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the class that I'm running. Now, this was actually our very first attempt at this gameplay, so there are a few things we noticed going through the game that we should have put on. One of them was a trophy system to protect ourselves from the kill streaks that these guys were getting in, and um, Quantum's actually had one. Oh, and check this out, dudes. This just, I was just laughing the whole way through this. I was live streaming the stream and finding this hilarious. I was just sat there. This was absolutely great. Look at these guys. Not a clue. I'm just sat there on the flag, double tapping wire with Assassin Pro. They can't even see me. And they just can't cap this flag and then they just run away. Oh my god. Come on. If anything's worth a like and maybe a favourite, then this is it. I know I shouldn't be a whore, but um, it'd be awesome if you could do that and just, yeah. They, not not a clue. Look, there's a little battle going on in the distance, and they're still trying to cap this flag, and I'm just sat here for so long, absolutely blocking these guys. I think they actually got bored and ran away. Not even the attack helicopter can get me. And that brings me on to the second point. Um, it was that I should have been running blind eye, so stuff like that didn't happen. We didn't get shot by air support and such. But in hindsight, didn't really know. Um, so in terms of our class, there was room for improvement. I mean, there were a few other things. I can't think of them off the top of my head. But we did remember a few things, but we still managed to pull out a win. Just about, look at this, hop straight on the flag and uh, try and cap it. He doesn't see me, goes running off, and that is my flag. So this is pretty much what we're doing here. Just trying to get those flags as much as we can. There was so much teamwork going on here. This was a hilarious battle to watch. Look at look at that guy. He could not do anything. And then he just got bored and decided to kill me. I mean, if I'm honest, the only player that clocked on to what we were doing was Skulls. And he was defending those flags and taking me out when I was doing my little ninja thing on the flag. The rest of them were kind of clueless. And I can't believe they only managed to get one mob in this game. What we actually managed to do is we made Skulls kill himself twice when he was in his AC-130 by just going and lying next to him when he was in his AC-130 and then he just blew himself up. So that's how he got two deaths in the end. What an idiot. Anyway, another thing I wanted to say is that I've just read all of the comments on my Team Dragonov gameplay I posted up yesterday. And, um, you know, you guys are really awesome. Really appreciated the comments on that. Some really um, good stuff. And I just wanted to say thanks for that. I do have some really awesome subscribers. And look at Wally on the run here. On the run. Couldn't take it out. Anyway, what I was saying was the comments and the feedback on that video was absolutely great. Loads of likes and all that kind of stuff. And it really does motivate me back into doing this kind of stuff and going for better and better stuff. Because there are times when it just seems so pointless and really tough. And um, when people do appreciate it and, uh, you know, stick up for me. It does mean a lot and I really appreciate it, so in the most sincere way possible, I just want to say thank you, and that is all on that. Now back to the gameplay, we were frantically trying to capture the A flag up there, but it was not to be. If they sit on the flags, then you're in a bit of a bad situation. Now I know what a lot of you are going to say is just, it's logic, why wouldn't they just sit on the flags and defend them? But fortunately, logic is something that not all COD players have and we like to use to our advantage as does everyone else, you know, put a bit of thought into it. If they'd have actually um, paid some attention, then they would have been able to absolutely rinse us and get loads of kills. I mean, seriously, they only got one Moab, and we weren't even trying to kill them. That's just embarrassing. It really is. So while we're on the unorthodox gameplay game styles that we're getting into now, which were a real success on the other Call of Duties, I'm going to throw it out to you guys and ask you if you have any suggestions for what future stranger stuff might be. Um, we've got all of the ones, all of the ones that you saw on the other Call of Duties, no moving, moving backwards, that kind of stuff. Um, that is going to be coming out and also I'm going to be bringing back Team Comeback where we let them get a certain amount of kills or dog tags or points or something and then we have to make an epic comeback and actually win the game. going to be doing that on Team Deathmatch Kill, from, kill Confirmed so I'm really really looking forward to the um, series and where it's going to progress to now because We've done a lot of the standard stuff and it's really going to start getting interested now. So, guys, stay tuned and if you haven't already, 
um, it would be great if you could subscribe to the Team Random Weapon show. I spent about two hours the other day um, fiddling around with this YouTube shows thing because somehow if you're a partner you can actually have your own show. Oh, and this guy. Um, just wanted to say hi to him. Couldn't count the flag. Ah. Oh. Anyway, basically, I have created a show on YouTube after ages of fiddling around with it and just getting confused. I already created the show for Team Random Weapons, and the title, there should be a link that you can click there. Team Random Weapons should be in blue, and you can click the link, or there'll be a little thumbnail in the bottom corner, and it will show you like the amount of shows and episodes or whatever. Um, basically, what you're able to do is you're able to subscribe to the show I've made. Oh, and here's the first mob. You're able to subscribe to that, and there we go, I made Skulls kill himself with, an AC, with his AC-130. But anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. What you can do with this show is you can subscribe, and then when YouTube messes up and the videos don't appear in sub boxes or whatever, which has been happening a fair amount with the new YouTube layout, then hopefully it should um, come straight back up if you subscribe to the show, and then you're not going to miss any episodes. Because um, I put a huge amount of effort into these videos, and it really is a shame when not everyone um, gets to watch them. So. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to be talking about in my next video, kind of the behind the scenes production of my videos, what um, happens with them. But yeah, if you could subscribe to the show, that would be absolutely great. I'd really appreciate that, and I think it's a pretty cool feature. But other than that, um, thank you so, so much for watching this video, sticking with the channel. really does mean a lot to me. I do appreciate it. Your comments are always valued, and um, look at that. None of us get any kills, and we win the game by a seven-point lead. One last thing before I go, it would be great if we could hit 1,000 likes. Do you think that's possible? Well, we'll have to see.